Hello everyone, this is a follow-up video to a video that another user, Firespark81, did on how to get in and out of Kanpeki Plaza and Cyberpunk. This is after you've completed the heist mission, so if you need to get back in this place to get some of the collectibles like the Satori, uh, the Saburo's Katana, and some other rare or legendary co collectibles, uh, you can get in there. So Firespark did a great job uh, at the tutorial. This is going to be a recreation of much of his work uh, with a couple of important updates. Uh, so he made his about 12 months ago. I'm filming this in December 2021. Uh, and this is with game patch 1.31. So I don't believe that you can, uh, you can fly uh, with uh, the katana sort of trick mod I, I haven't been able to do that and there have been some edits uh, that CD have done to this building to prevent you from jumping up certain areas they put invisible walls in other places and also getting out of the building is much more difficult I don't think you can just jump off the building and land in water you have to go down through the garage but I couldn't clip through the door so I'm going to show you all of the latest ways uh, that worked for me to get through this in and out of this building after having completed it and we are going to get started right away so here you can see we're in front of it and I've commandeered this truck and we're going to use the same method of getting over that gate uh, by jumping over the uh, overpass. So without further ado, let's get started. By the way, I'm on PC. If you haven't been able to tell already, if that matters. And as you can see, barbed wire fence sort of ends right here for a short section. So just go to the far end, around where you see these uh, AC units out here. And we'll just park real close up to there. And we'll go ahead and hop out. And um, just do a quick save right there. Get on your truck. And over you go. All right. And now following uh, his guide, the, the uh, infill is the same. I just want to do a quick save here in case I mess up. We'll hug this fence till we get to this uh, sort of pergola area. And then we'll get over to this side of the building. And I don't know why it puts me in combat there. Uh, there we go. Just do a quick save there. Hug this building to the right. I find it's very uh, useful to, when you're using the forward buttons, use hold the left button as well, so that way you sort of hug the building. All right? And getting around this side is... Ah, darn it. Missed it. So, one thing that trips me up is uh, when I double tap the uh, left or right buttons, or the front or rear, it does the, uh, what do you call it? Alright, there we are. It does a little quick jump thing, and we are in. So, here we want to get to one of these columns. I believe it's this one. Let's go over one more. And we'll go to this column. Do a quick save here. And then we just run over here and we're on it. And now we'll do another run. Double jump right onto there. And I believe. Which way we go? 
go. You're supposed to get out. Somewhere, oh yeah, right here. Yep, right here. So let's go ahead and do a save. And we'll just jump out right there. And you're in the lobby. And so everything should be the same as when you left it. I remember I knocked that guy out. Look at that, he's just still there. This is great. <laughs> By the way, things, uh, I believe things respawn here. Uh, even if you didn't get some of the items, there are other items that respawn. I'm sure I picked these up when I came through here. All right, and then this is the uh, elevator that you can take. You cannot take the other main elevator with the uh, the green behind it that Jackie and V took when you first did the mission. You have to take this elevator and you just get up from here. By the way, the only thing I'm using for this is just double jump, uh, nothing else. There is one or two guys that were left here, so you're only making it worse for yourself. Yeah, come out. So we're just gonna take it nice and easy through here. I've got it. Show yourself. All right, let's just sneak through these guys here. Alright, we're gonna have to do some trickery here to get past this guy. You think you stand a chance? Huh? Gonna investigate. No sign of any threat. I'm in a week. False alarm. Huh? Buggy optics! It's uh, always fun when you have two dudes. Reboot one guys. Second time in a week. And then Time it just right to get them both. Let's see if we can do this without resave, reload. It's all under control. This is gonna be close. Nice. Just in the nick of time. All right. Put these 
bodies to be on our way. Safe. Alright, and now we'll just continue here. Bodies just where I left them. All right, now's where things get a little interesting here. Go up these steps, and you come out to this atrium area. All right, now this is where one of the changes are. A lot of folks in uh, the comments tipped uh, tipped other players, myself included, to using this tree to get up to the area. So Yorinobu's room is up there, and then you have this uh, angled glass section which you slid off of, and then you went into that little room where you and Jackie uh, had your little insertion episode. Uh, so you, you can't you can't get up through here anymore. They've CD has patched that area. You can't when, even when you're on top of it, it's a solid surface. You just walk across it. So there's no point even trying to get up there anymore. You can't do it. Uh, so the way to do it is uh, to get on top of this tree. So I'm going to do a save. It's a little finicky, but uh, you can do it. There we go. First try. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to get over here because only these large beams, I believe, are actually solid. Everything else is not. So once you're there, uh, next double jump. I believe you can just double jump up here. Ah, you can get on this railing first. So do it. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. All right, and then just double jump again. And to show you. This is where uh, you could jump through, but see, patch it, watch, you can just walk right on top of that. So now, get on top of this unit, and, oh, oops, maybe that one. That one's a little taller, we'll use this. All right, let's try it again. There we go. All right. Here's where things get tricky too. CD added an invisible barrier right there. And so what you used to be able to do is when you're standing right here, you used to be able to just jump straight up there, but watch what happens when you jump. You kind of hit this uh, barrier. See how the jump is uh, shorter than it should be? Whereas if you jump out here, it's taller. All right, so there's a trick to doing this. You can still launch off of this point but you kind of got to vector yourself in the air by going forward. And then when you're sort of halfway through your first jump, vector to the right and second jump, and then you can do it. So let's see if I can get this first try. First time I tried this, it took me like half an hour to figure this out. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, shift key to run, and I'm gonna start sort of a forward movement as I do the jump. And I, I feel, let's try again. And then I'm gonna vector to the right. So. It takes a couple tries, but it is possible. Let's try again. Almost got it that time. It's gonna take you a while if you're not used to manipulating the jump. And there we go, made it. All right, and just save again. And that's it, that's uh, how to get in here. So we'll go ahead and pick up our collectibles and then we'll exfil out of here. I think it's so funny. Uh, so, uh, Burrow's body is just still, <laughs> still sitting there. I think I have about 20 play hours or, since I did the heist mission. It's just still sitting there. All right, so uh, the first collectible you want to make sure you grab uh, Yorinobu's slacks and formal shirt. They're not epic or legendary or anything, but they're definitely something interesting to get. And then uh, once you come up these stairs, head on up to the roof and oh look there's uh the av with items in it nope no av but the items are still here so here's their rare iconic katana grab that and then grab uh this data bank as well you can read it uh there is something else up here don't forget 
come to the back of these uh, HVAC units, and there is a readable item over there as well. And by the way, if you're outdoors like this and you can't see anything because uh, the time of day is such, you can just change the time of day. But right now it seems like it's uh, clearing up. It's just uh, an issue with uh, the engine, so we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, and by the way, you can climb up to the top of that if you want to as well. You can double jump over here and get a nice view. You'll have to change it to night, night mode to get through there. All right, so this is where uh, this guide is going to change a bit. You don't jump off or do any catapulting off of the building uh, after patch 1.31. We're going to go back out the way we came, and then there's a trick to getting out through the basement. And it not, does not include opening any doors because you can't open any doors. So let's get this done real quick. Uh, there's, yeah, there should be another, there should be another readable there. And you can't re-pick up the gun, you gotta get the gun when you come in here the first time. I think it's funny that this, uh, relic storage container is just sort of floating here right now, but hey, whatever. Alright, and let's go ahead and get back out. Let's, uh, save, and we're gonna just go the exact same way we came. Alright. So, you can see here we are having issues with the light. So I could advance the time, but I think we can, I think we can do this without having to do that. Alright, come down that way. Actually, for the purpose of the uh, tutorial, I should, I should go ahead and just advance the time. There we go. All right. So you can see we just came down the slide again. Again, you can't go through here again, so we're going to have to jump down here. Save again. Jump down here, and then just enter through any one of those windows. Now we'll go ahead and backtrack all the way through here. See all these things. I picked all of this stuff up when I came through here, but they sort of regen. And let's back through here. Through here. With your yep, that was another commenter on Firespark's video that showed, didn't show but described getting through a paper wall in the bar area. That's the trick we're going to use. You just sort of slash your way with a katana. So I think it's hilarious that you can just cut through some of these walls and then get off map, but it works. And I also think it's kind of stupid that CD's sort of patching this up. Like you should have a way to get back in here and pick up lost items. Uh, and, and I'm glad that, at least with 1.31, you can still do that. So, uh, let me show you how to do this. The only thing you need is a uh, katana, and we've already picked one up, so... Uh, in fact, let's use the one we picked up. There it is. Surrender immediately. Those guys can chill there. I'm just gonna leave them. So that's the front door, and the reason you can't walk out the front door is because they got these gigantic metal barriers but here's what you can do I'm just showing you this so this is next to the uh, bar area and in the mission you would take this elevator up uh, the elevator is locked out now uh, but I just want to show you from this side and then we'll get in so where we're gonna slash through is a wall directly behind this face of the elevator and here is this paper wall, and you go into this bar area, and once you're here, back here, go ahead and save, and all you do is start the dice Down there. 
garage here. Let's see if that's good enough. And now you can just get right down to a little landing area. You can see the back of the elevator and the shaft that goes up there for part of the storyline. And then here you have the garage. So we are going to go down there. Now you can actually get into the garage from here. Let me do a hard save. You can actually get into the garage, but I haven't found a way to get back out. So I think, if I recall correctly, I think we did go that way. You can kind of go out in this area, but there's no way out through uh, through the front here. You want to get out to the front, but there's no way out. This is a solid surface, and you can't cut through that. And if you jump here, you get off the map. So you kind of go, got to go above the garage. So let me show you that. So now you're on top of the garage. For the most part, this is all solid. The only parts that are not solid are there's a center section where you can fall through. Uh, so just be careful of that. I think, believe it's right there. By the way, if you want to get in the garage, uh, I can do a quick save and show you how to do that real quick. But, but like I said, if you get in the garage, I don't think you can get back up. So let me go ahead and uh, do a quick save. The way I was able to do it is through this corner right here, right there. And now you're in the garage. And you can play with these guys if you want. Uh, but like I said, you can't get back out. And the problem with this is that door right there. Uh, I can't get that door to open, and I haven't been able to get any of the uh, door clip glitches in 1.31 for you to get through there either. There's no terminals in there to hack to open that door, uh, so you're kind of stuck in here. But there are a lot of pickups. You can play with these guys. There are neat cars in here. It would be awesome if you could hack that door and get it open. If CD even made that available in the next patch, I think it would be great. But let me... Uh, Reload, last save on top of the garage, and I'll show you the trick on how to get out of here. All right, so when you're on top of the garage, how I did it is I went right over this area, I believe, and there's there's a trick to getting out of here. So you kind of hop over on this edge right here and walk it. Actually, we're being attacked. No. You're only making it worse for yourself. So it's actually on the opposite side of where the ramp is. And when you walk over here, you will see water. And we can try jumping and see what happens. There it is, you're in water. And just get back to the very top. And once you're in water, you're sort of home free. You just find a way out of here like that, and you're out. That's it. Then you can this ladder. And just to show you where we are, we are right there. And I'll show you a way back. Just run along this side.
jump this pipe. And voila, now you're outside of the building. Awesome. Oops, let's get on this. Alright, and it should be pretty self-explanatory how to get out of here. You're just going to get on that rock and then get out, but we're going to do it. Look at this. From the inside out. Awesome. Clearly, I need some work on my platforming people. There we go. Back up here. And you can either try to re-jump this, or you can just jump off of here. Which would work, I guess. Done. Mission complete. You're out. That's how to do that. Anyways, I hope uh, you guys find this helpful. I think it's uh, pretty cool that you can get back in there. Get the Satori. Iconic uh, katana. Stick it in your wall. It shows up. It's one of the two katanas that show up in there. The other one you get when you do the... Uh, one of uh, the Arasaka guys when you do the Takamura mission for the uh, parade get uh, the other katana. Those are the only two that go up there. This one has a lot of crit damage, so it's a pretty cool katana, but that's how to do that uh, with PC game version 1.31. And if CDPR is watching, please don't make it impossible to get back in here. I think it's awesome that you can still get back in here. And so it'd be even better if you could uh, maybe put like an Easter egg to try to let players purposefully allow them to get back in here. I think it'd be awesome. But anyways, uh, if you found this helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up. Have a good one.